Hello people, in this video we want to look at Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome, SIRS. So basically it's the response of our body, right? So what is it responding to? It is responding to some infection or trauma or anything. It can respond to anything. But how is it responding? It is responding with systemic inflammation. A whole body inflamed and it is responding this way. So exaggerated defense response of the body. To, it can be to anything, to infection or uh, trauma or uh, burns, etc. Right? A lot of things. Even pancreatitis. Mainly pancreatitis you will see this. Okay? Pancreatitis. <coughs> so, <coughs> uh, you understood what uh, SIRS is. Correct? So, look at this image here. So, what they are trying to say here. So, there is uh, infection. Infection can lead to bacteremia. That can further lead to sepsis. And as a response to the sepsis, the body will do systemic inflammatory response. The systemic inflammatory response not only happens as a response to this uh, infection, it can also happen uh, as a response to trauma, burns, pancreatitis, etc. So, did you understand this much people? So, SIRS is not specific to infection. SIRS as an inflammatory response, systemic inflammation response, inflammatory response can happen to <clears throat> infection, trauma, burns, pancreatitis, okay, and to infection. But whenever it happens because of infection, that time you are using the word sepsis. What is sepsis? Sepsis is SIRS due to infection. SIRS due to infection is sepsis. So, sepsis is what? Inflammation, infection, sorry, infection with SIRS is sepsis. This further will lead to multi-organ failure. Anyway, that we are not concerned. What is sepsis? It is SIRS due to infection. SIRS can happen due to many reasons. This much you understood? So, they are saying that if SIRS should be there for whatever reason, what will be there? The temperature will be more or less. It will be more or less. Hyperthermia or hypothermia? That is hyperpyrexia or hypothermia. Heart rate is more. This they are sure. Heart rate is more. Okay. Respiratory rate is more. This one is also more. So, there is tachypnea, heart rate is more, tachycardia, PaCO2, that is the carbon dioxide is less. Carbon dioxide is less. Interesting. Total leukocyte count is more or less than the normal. Okay, that is more than 12 or less than 4. Both are abnormal, right? So, this is what, and they are saying two or more of the following should be, can be there. If two or more are there, it is systemic inflammatory response to variety of insults. We told you the insults could be whichever. But SIRS means this. So, what is SIRS? <coughs> so, what and all will be there people? Tachycardia, tachypnea, <coughs> temperature low or more, WBCs low or high. In SIRS, what else can be there? Vas increased vascular permeabil permeability due to cytokines platelet aggregating factor and kinin release. Okay, there will be increased vascular permeability. This much you can remember. <coughs> Just look at these uh, definitions here. Infection means there is microorganism invasion. Okay, bacteremia means visible bacteria in the blood. Sorry, not visible. Presence of bacteria in the blood, viable bacteria in the blood, that is bacteremia. SIRS is this uh, inflammatory response which has all these parameters. Sepsis is SIRS due to infection. Are you understanding people? Sepsis is what? SIRS due to infection is sepsis. What is septic shock? Septic shock means, see, sepsis will have hypotension. Okay, sepsis will have what? Hypotension. But septic shock is this hypotension which is there despite fluid resuscitation. That is septic shock. Okay. Then finally, this will lead to multi-organ dysfunction that is mods. So, how do you define sepsis? They have an infection okay, and then they have hypotension that is low blood pressure and altered mental sinus or tachypnea. Two of these if they have then it is sepsis. So, what is sepsis means you have to say infection high, along with hypotension, altered mental status, tachypnea. Two or more of this should be there. Okay. Hypotension, say hypotension. Hypotension. Altered mental status. Mental altered, mental yeah, men altered mental state. status, tachypnea. That is, the respiratory rate is more, okay. So, they have respiratory rate more, hypotension, altered mental status. Okay, what was there in SIRS? SIRS, you had tachypnea, correct? But they did not talk about hypotension or altered mental status. Fine? 
Now what happens with septic shock? Septic shock means though you are trying to fix it, there is still hypotension, persistent hypotension. And serum lactate is more. Okay, so this is septic shock. So subset of sepsis with underlying circulatory abnormalities and this will have um, increased mortality in the person. That is, what is septic shock? Sepsis and both of these will be there. After fluid resuscitation also, there will be persistent hypotension which will require vasopressors. Okay, and serum lactate will be more. So they were given fluid resuscitation but still they have persistent hypotension. Now you have to start giving vasopressors as a fix and serum lactate being more. This is septic shock. Okay, so what will happen after this? The septic Sepsis will lead to multi-organ failure. Why does multi-organ failure happen? Because of inflammation, because of immune response. So there will be vasodilation, hypoxia, right? So this is inflammatory response, etc. will lead to the multi-organ failure. Okay. So there is direct injury by microorganisms or hypo, hypoxia or vasodilation. Finally, there is multi-organ failure. Okay. So how will you treat? How will you treat sepsis? You will give oxygen, antibiotics, fluid that you already saw. You will measure serum lactate, etc. That we told you if it becomes more, it's bad, right? Then you will take the blood culture and find out which organism you have to treat against, right? So this is all about systemic inflammatory response syndrome. Basically, it's the exaggerated defense response of the body. It could be to infection, trauma, burns, pancreatitis or anything. Okay. So what and all should be there in this? Temperature can be more or less. There can be tachycardia, tachypnea and WPC count can be abnormal. So what is sepsis? Sepsis is SIRS because of infection. That is sepsis. SIRS due to infection is called as sepsis. Okay. That's all for now guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.